Hello. Um, oh my goodness. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Tim on here from the Aussie Goddess. I nearly choked then. Um, this is your weekly reading from the 15th to the 21st of um, December. And this is the reading for Libra. Okay, Libra, this reading is only general. It will not resonate with everybody. If it's not your story, move on to another reader. Um, the readings is bit flop, so please take what you need and leave the rest. Um, sometimes it may be for the other person that we're reading for. And I am re reading with the Cosmic Tarot here. Right. Seven of Wands coming in. So the Seven of Wands is a card of standing your ground. It's about being defensive. Here you see someone fighting off the enemy. Um, sometimes when we find ourselves in this energy, we could feel that people are against us and we're trying to um, stand our ground, stick up for ourselves. Sometimes it's about you being too defensive and perhaps uh, managing life from a very... Um, aggressive standpoint rather than going with the flow I do have the princess of swords coming out behind this so we do have someone here who's trying to perhaps tell you something or speak to you about something trying to express a truth here that you are being quite defensive about could be dealing with a Leo Sag or Aries here um, we do have the three of swords you could be dealing with someone who's trying to um, fix something that they broke and we do have the justice card which talks about the universe thing, bringing things back into balance I feel like someone's trying to make contact with you here um, possibly someone that's hurt you in the past uh, could be a family member a friend um, someone who's perhaps been keeping a little bit of an eye on you here um, but wants to speak a truth wants to apologize this feeling of you being defensive against this energy here, perhaps fighting against them, not wanting to speak, not wanting to accept an apology, that type of feeling here. Okay, more information. All right, so we have the Eight of Cups coming in. So some sort of situation that you're moving away from here, um, something that has not brought you emotional satisfaction. This could be in the past, Um but something you walked away from because it was not serving your greater good. I always think these cards make me, they always look like people. That looks like John Travolta to me. Um, <laughs> so definitely moving forward here. You could have gone through some sort of um, betrayal, heartbreak, hurt, but you closed out a cycle on this. So it could have been a relationship that you closed off because it wasn't bringing you in the satisfaction that you wanted. You may have walked away from someone who was a little bit of a player or maybe someone who had this player energy. So you could have walked away from someone who wasn't consistent, um, who wasn't um, legitimate. So I'm trying to sort of feel out whether it's it's coming in. Queen of Wands is coming out here too. So you're definitely taking on this energy. You, out of something that's happened in your past here, you have grown. You have grown a lot. Um, I think you could have dealt with perhaps people in the past who haven't been perhaps as committed as you would like them to have been. Maybe you've been through some sort of cycling here um, where you've perhaps had situations, relationships, um, not necessarily romantic, but you could have had some very negative um, situations in the past that have left you feeling very cold um, when we sense this player energy here it's not always someone who's you know a playboy or someone who's a who's trying to take advantage of you sometimes it can be about not just getting a commitment with the person that you wanted so maybe you've been through situations where you've wanted something more committed but people have walked away and you're walking away from this cycle now. So whatever this situation is, you're clearing this cycle out of your life. You're realizing your value. You're understanding how to move forward here and take your power back. Okay, so we have the Princess of Cups coming in here. So there's some sort of offer on the table. And I feel like it's coming in from someone who's perhaps had this energy in the past. Someone who perhaps wasn't truthful with you, wasn't upfront, wasn't honest here. 
it could have been someone who's got the player energy as well two of swords coming in so there's this feeling here that you're going to have to make a decision i feel like i'll get, put some more cards out but i think i've got someone's coming back because they see you as their person okay six of wands so there's some sort of victory here for somebody princess of pentacles some sort of gift that's being given that's going to help you move forward very clear here so we have you being defensive about somebody coming in to offer an apology, a truth, trying to get you to move forward with them. Um, and it looks like it's an offer of love here. Um, I feel like in the past you may have cycled things that weren't good for you. Could have been cycling with the same person. But definitely going round and round with someone who was not committing or had this player energy. And I feel like you knew all the time what you represented in this person's life but they perhaps didn't see it so i think that they have either denied it walked away from it or um, not considered at the time that it was right for what they wanted maybe they just wanted to be single but i feel like this whole time there's been this holding back or this withholding of feelings or thoughts or something that should have been said and I feel like someone's coming in to offer you this now because they realize that you are the person they want to be with the thing is I'm not sure that you do because you've got to this queen of wands sort of energy where you're feeling very attractive now you're feeling like you know the world is your oyster you don't really want to be bothered with little things anymore so there's definitely this feeling here that you're going to either cut something out to move forward um but I want to say to you that there is some pl pleasure or recognition in the fact that this person has returned to you. Um, and maybe it's sort of confirming for you your ability to manifest. But it also is showing you that you have value. Someone is unable to let you go. So they may have gone off in life playing the field or not committing to other people as well maybe they just wanted to be single but now they want you back in their life i'm thinking here that there's a possibility you won't accept this offer um i do have the two of wands eight of wands five of pentacles so i feel like you're going to walk away from someone who's coming in to offer you something you wanted a long time ago i feel that you found yourself in that time perhaps they don't look quite as attractive as they did when you were with them but there's something about them now that you're really not wanting. But this is a gift to you. This is to show you your own personal value here. Um, the card here is go the distance. So that's interesting that that's come out. So let's have a look at what that means. Okay, so it's about endurance, strength and the long haul. To bring your dream to life, you must think long term and pay no attention to the fluctuations in the current of your experience. Joy and disappointment co-mingle with opportunities, so there is no need to fear the occasional obstacle. Life is not a sprint. This card is a reminder that you have endurance, strength and fortitude to carry you all of the way. Remain true to yourself. Your authenticity alone will keep you in alignment with the energy of miracles. What is yours will never be withheld from you. Remember that. Wow, okay, that's really deep. What is yours will never be withheld from you. Remember that. So somehow or another, something is returning because it was always yours. It's just that the person who was yours didn't realise it. And now they've realised it. Someone's had a big awakening. Thanks, guys.